Hello, we are Team S from Keist Grove students who are attending class of discrete mathematics. In this video, we are going to explain it to you folks about recurrence formula and mini Tetris problem. Please be aware that this is not something fun that you've been doing on the internet like Facebook Tetris, but it will get interesting as the video goes on, so don't worry. Well, problem mini Tetris is kind of problem which tries to fill the designated area with designated blocks. And in order to solve this, we have to learn about some theories about recurrence formula. And this is not how like or. So you'll get it if you keep watching this video. First, some of you guys don't even know what recurrence formula is, and here is the definition of it. If k is an integer with specific number, for a sequence a0, a1, a2, there exists number c1, c2 to ck, and formula bn composed of n, which can be written as this, and if this exists, we call this recurrence formula. Here if c1, c2 to ck is constant number, we call an linear recurrence. Also. If in linear recurrence bn is equal to 0, we call the homogeneous linear recurrence formula. Now, let's talk about ways to solve this homogeneous linear recurrence formula. Here you don't have to know the whole proof and all you need to know is the result. Which is way to solve the problem and you will be able to understand some of our homogeneous linear recurrence formula. Let's say there is this equation and then this equation is called the characteristic equation of the formula stated above. And the solution of this characteristic equation is called particular solution. Also, for the case that you have not understood, let's see some example. If homogeneous linear recurrence formula is given like this, characteristic equation becomes this. And the particular solution will be obviously 1 or 2. Now, important things is that the general term of this sequence can be written as this. Since proving why the general solution of recurrence formula above takes too long time, we are not going to explain it here, but we are going to tell you ways to get its general solution of homogeneous linear recurrence formula. If there is a, a number lambda satisfying the characteristic equation, and if the equation lambda is squared, the solution satisfies homogeneous linear recurrence formula. Then, now let's try to solve mini Tetris problem with how to solve recurrence formula described above. Example 1.1 Let's say that 1 cross 1 board and 1 cross 2 board exist. If AN represents the number of possible ways that we can cover the board with 1 cross 1 board and 1 cross 2 board, describe AN with N. And this is the question and the ways to solve this problem will be described below. First. It is trivial that a1 is equal to 1. Also, there are two ways to cover 1 cross 2 board, like showed in the pictures below. So, a2 is obviously 2. Now, let's think when n is over or equal to 3. Then there can be two ways to cover 1 cross n board. First, assume 1 cross 1 board covers the most left side. So, ways to cover 1 cross n board is same to the ways to cover 1 cross n minus 1 board, with, which is left covered with 1 cross 1 board. Therefore, there are a n minus 1 ways. Secondly, assume left side of this board is covered with 1 cross 2 board. So, ways to cover 1 cross n board is same to the ways to cover 1 cross n minus 2 board, which is left covered with 1 cross 2 board. Therefore, there are a n minus 2 ways. Therefore, the result is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. So, a n is Fibonacci sequence with a1 is equal to 1 and a1, a2 is equal to 2, which means that a n is equal to this. In the next question, count the block, count the ways a n that 2 cross n block can be covered with 2 cross 1 blocks and 2 cross 2 blocks. And the way to solve this problem will be described below as always. First, it is trivial that a1 is equal to 1. And also, there are three ways described below to cover 2 cross 2 blocks. You can see in the picture, so a2 is equal to 3. Now, let's think when n is over or equal to 3, then there are two ways that we can cover 2 cross n board. 
first when left side is covered with two cross one block standing horizontally. In this case, the number of ways that can cover two cross M board is the same with the number of ways to cover two cross M minus one board. So there is A M minus one ways. For a second, when left side is covered with two cross two blocks. In this case, there are two ways to cover it, which is first to cover it with two cross one blocks, and second to cover it with the two cross two blocks. Each of them are A M minus two ways, so there are two A M minus two ways they can cover two cross M minus two board. Therefore, we can tell that A N is equal to A M minus one plus two A M minus two. Now, here we can use what we learned before in this video. By using it, this recurrence formula's characteristic equation is shown as below. And this particular solution is minus one and two. Then it becomes that a n is equal to this, and by substituting the initial value, we can get two equations based on alpha and beta. And by solving it, alpha is equal to one third and beta is equal to two third. And therefore, we can get a general solution of this recurrence formula, which is this. Until now, we've learned about solving recurrence formula and looked at some mini teachers' problems. How was it? You can get make recurrence formula which can be made from the problem and by solving characteristic equation we can get the general solution right away. Of course the making recurrence formula is hard to make as board gets harder or better. By doing some algorithm that we've done before, meaning Tetris problem will get solved eventually. So this was TMS's video project. Thank you for watching.